Uh, what's the scariest thing you can think of? Tell me. Come on, th think of it. You, you got something? You got okay, well, you're wrong. The scariest thing is actually this really terrible horror game that I made as a prepubescent child. And it's not scary because it's actually, like, horrifying and uh, full of tension. It's only scary because of what a, a stain to the to humanity's reputation it is. Alright, so buckle your seatbelts around my campfire as I tell you all about this this the wonderful story of how this terrible game came to be. All right, so you may have heard me talk about my game, My Beautiful Paper Smile, before. It's my current horror game project, but it is not my first horror game. I have made three other horror games before that project, and none of them are published. And the one that I'm going to be talking about today, I have never posted anything online about this whatsoever. Nobody's really seen this besides me and, like, my brother. So, here we go. All right, so at the time, I was about, I was probably, like, just turned 13, and it was getting close to Halloween. It was probably, like, August or October, right? And as it being that season, I decided, hey, spooky season, pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns, I'm gonna make a horror game. And I have to understand that as a 13-year-old child, I I had never watched a horror movie. I'd never played a horror game. If it wasn't rated PG, G, or below, then I wasn't watching it. So I had no knowledge of horror whatsoever, other than that, uh, scary. Scary is a thing. But despite all this, I was like, I'm gonna make a horror game. It's gonna be great. And so the the idea that I had was very uh, original and good because as you know, as, as a game developer, you're supposed to be very unique and original. You're supposed to make something that people haven't played before, right? That's that's what people tell you. Well, apparently I, I confused opposite day for Halloween and decided to not do that at all. So I made my game about a haunted house with ghosts in it and a dungeon, as you do. Basically all the most classic horror tropes that you could possibly get your hands on. So you pull up to this house, right? You get out and you go up there with, with your cameras and you go in and it's a haunted mansion and there's all kinds of like spooky sounds, right? To make it really spooky, I added a tea kettle donk sound. Yes, you heard me right. And without getting off on too much of a tangent, this has ended up being like the scariest part for me, right? I'd be testing the game, sitting there like, oh, I'm testing my game. And the, the tea kettle sound would play at, you know, whatever random interval. And it would scare me. I'd be like, oh, oh I'm scared of my video game. And that, that sound alone convinced me that man, this is a scary game. <laughs> so anyways, back to the, the main, you know, storyline of the game, right? So, so you go into this house, and the first thing you see are these plaques, like like taxidermy plaques. You know, like the, I, I don't know what they're called exactly, like mounts, head mounts or something. That you would put like a, like a moose face on or something. And, um, but there's no actual moose faces. It, it's... It's like I was just targeting vegans with this with this game. I don't know who I was trying to scare with this, but in any case, on each of these plaques, since the heads were missing, I figured it would only make sense to let people know. So on every single plaque, I put the, the word missing. Because how else are you going to know that the moose face is missing? So after seeing this, the protagonist quickly realizes that the ghosts don't like taxidermy. And he continues on into the house. You go a little farther and... You're, you're walking along, you're walking along, right? Shuffling along, very slowly, actually. Because it, here's the next scary thing, the next most scary thing that I did. The player basically doesn't have legs. Like, they walk so incredibly slowly that you'd think that they're, like, crawling. Apparently, that's good game design, according to 13-year-old me. And so then you, you, you keep walking. And here's, this is probably the scariest part of all. You find a library that has infinite books that just go infinitely up into the sky. And as a 13 year old prepubescent child, right, that hates reading and would rather play video games, books are pretty scary. I'm sure some of you agree. So boom, now we got that. This game is clearly like very terrifying. Like this, this game has more terrifying content than like Outlast, Five Nights at Freddy's, and your average Twitter thread combined. Comedy gold, lol. All right, so now we, we, go, we go into this wide open room. You'll see, a very strangely textured part of the floor and if you walk over to it you'll fall into the dungeon oh my gosh ah there's that creepy dungeon that that i mentioned right and so you fall into this dungeon right into a jail cell and it's all it's all dingy and it's all dark and it's all spooky and you get down there and here's 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 one of the scary parts right your chains rattling around i'm sure you've never seen anything like that in a horror movie chains 
the sound of change. No, saw it here first, folks. Prepubescent Gavin did it before anyone else. Give me credit, pay me royalty. And so you, you walk out of this jail cell into a larger jail, right? And there's a whole bunch of jail cells all over the place, right? And then there's this one, there's one that has a open door, a, like broken bars and all this stuff. And you walk in and then you see the ghostly figure of, of a big old monster guy walking out because the monster guy died in the dungeon as you do. Apparently, whatever millionaire owned this mansion decided to have a pet monster and just keep him in his dungeon until he died. So the monster leads you straight towards the secret exit. Thanks, Mr. Monster Ghost. <laughs> How convenient. And then you just follow him along and you get out and that's, that's the whole game, basically. Now, I didn't actually finish it. I didn't get as far as making the, the monster ghost, right? That, that was just kind of tentative. Like, I was like, eh, yeah, I'll get to that part. But I didn't. And then the game just ends. So anyways, that is about it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That is it. And I will see you guys in the next one.